Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So today I'm going to show you um, some clips from my kingdom of me building the witch's cottage. Um, this is just a clip from when I finished leveling up Eve to a level 10. That I would include this clip because I love Eve's welcome screen. I think it is so, so cute. Um, but yeah, I'm going to basically be going through all the dialogue um, after building up the cottage and then to unlocking Lord MacGuffin. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I also just realized that I have another welcome screen. This is me leveling up the child. Um, I love the child welcome screen. I feel like I've seen that a million times, but I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorite welcome screens in the whole entire game. Um, but there is his little screen. The child is now at level three. Okay, so this is me. All right, so I leveled up Queen Eleanor to a level two to be able to unlock the witch's cottage um, before we could even see like how much it actually is. But there's Queen Eleanor's welcome screen. And yeah, Queen o Eleanor is now level two. On behalf of Clan Dunbrook, I thank you. I've tried my best to teach Merida everything I know about being a princess, but sometimes it's the simplest lessons that bear the most fruit. For example, posture. Many, many a time, a straight back and regular demeanor has seen me through a tricky of dis a bit of diplomacy, like so. So that's basically just a side quest. Um, and I'm actually going to build the wood carver first for 500 currency, which I didn't have enough currency at the moment. But I did end up collecting a little bit and then having enough. And then my kingdom is such a disaster right now, guys. I totally need to clean it out for the new year. Um, but I decided to place it in Tomorrowland, but actually now it's actually by Big Thunder Mountain. Um, but these clips, it's by the space. Someone never actually met in person whose home has the peskiest habit of not existing when one's looking for it. In which, on reflection, may or may not still be in ruins from a cauldron explosion. Hmm. <laughs> I so wish we had the witch, though, but the cottage is pretty cute. If the cottage is there, and if the will of the wisps chose to lead me to it, so much the better. Then again, I know from experience how elusive they can be. Regardless, I'm quite sure I can retrace my steps once and reach the Ring of the Stones. It's not as if that day wasn't memorable. Very memorable it was indeed. <laughs> Anybody home? Send the Queen Eleanor to vi visit the Witch's Cottage. Alright, so she actually was on her side quest. And then we got this bundle, which is the Witch's Cottage enchantment. Ah, that's exactly. Of course, through wearing a crown is also a good reason to keep one's head upright and steady. Oh, this is side quest dialogue after that was done. To my embarrassment, I learned that soon after marrying Fergus, had to run across the hall to fetch mine when it rolled. Ahem. Well, perhaps that's a story best left for another time. A princess doesn't slouch, though it might motivate Merida to be more careful when she wears her crown. Okay, so then we just, I just sent Queen Eleanor on the four hour kingdom quest to visit the witch's cottage. And there she goes. All right, so this is the dialogue after that quest. Well, the cottage is there, but the witch isn't. So I suppose I'm left with two options. One, fetch her, which would take weeks, and risk upsetting our delicate relations. Or two, forgo the respite from, my, from diplomacy, which I was hoping for, and solve everything myself, as has become routine. <laughs> Okay. 
Anybody home? A shame, really. I hear the outer hair birds what? <laughs> are quite nice this time of year. I'm not exactly sure what outer herbs are, but... <laughs> However, it is ma- It is ma- What? However, it is I'm to fix this all. I do it best quickly. That's kind of a tongue twister. It doesn't make much sense. <laughs> I don't even want to think about what the lords of the clans will get up to without someone responsible to keep an eye on them. My voice impressions are not very good today. <laughs> Welcome, Lord MacGuffin. So I unlocked him pretty close to when he was actually going to be unlocked. And then I had enough time to level Queen Eleanor to a level 3. And there's her welcome screen again. Queen Eleanor is now a level 3. Might she me. What an unexpected honor. All right, and then you can see the Radiant Chest ended up coming out, so I figured I'd show you that. And thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!